division. Repeated subtraction of the same number is called division. Let us understand division through an example. Reema had six cherries. She placed two cherries in her first pudding. She placed two cherries in her second pudding and placed two cherries in her third pudding. So, 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. 4 minus 2 is equal to 2. 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Three puddings have equal number of cherries. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Simple division. What would you do when you have to share six ice creams equally among two children? You should divide them among the two children. Six divided by two is equal to three. That is, both the children will get three ice creams each. What would you do when you have to share 16 pencils among four children? Divide 16 by four. Four goes four times in 16. That is, 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. Each child gets 4 pencils each. Properties of Division Property 1 Division of a number by 1 If a number is divided by 1, the quotient is the number itself. For example, 5 divided by 1 is equal to 5. 34 divided by 1 is equal to 34. 3 divided by 1 is equal to 3. 7 divided by 1 is equal to 7 and so on. Property 2. Division of a number by itself. A number when divided by itself gives us 1 as the quotient. For example, 23 divided by 23 is equal to 1. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 55 divided by 55 is equal to 1. 18 divided by 18 is equal to 1 and so on. Long division. After simple division, let us now learn long division. Example 1. Divide 12 by 4. Here, 12 is called the dividend. 4 is called the divisor. We will have to find the quotient. Let us solve it by long division format. Use 4 tables here. 4 threes are 12. 4 can be divided in 12 3 times. So the quotient is 3. There is no remainder. The remainder is 0. Example 2. Divide 40 by 8. Use 8 tables here. 8 fives are 40. Here, 40 is the dividend, 8 is the divisor, and 5 is the quotient, with no remainder. Division of two-digit numbers by a single-digit number. Example 1. Divide 93 by 3. Let us arrange the numbers in their respective places. 93 as the dividend, and 3 as the divisor. Recite the multiplication tables of 3. Find out how many times 3 goes in 9. 3 into 3 is equal to 9. 3 goes in 9 3 times. So write 3 above 9 in the quotient place and write 9 below 9. 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. There is no remainder. Now the left out number in the dividend is 3. Bring it below next to 0. Recite the three tables again. 3 into 1 is equal to 3. 3 goes in 3 one time. So write 1 above 3 in the quotient place and write 3 below 3. 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. There is no remainder. Here the dividend is 93. Divisor is 3 and the quotient is 31. Thus, 93 divided by 3 is 31. Example 2. Divide 72 by 6. Let us arrange the numbers in their respective places. 72 as the dividend and 6 as the divisor. Recite the multiplication tables of 6. Find out how many times 6 goes in 7. 6 into 1 is equal to 6. 
six goes in seven one time. So write one above seven in the quotient place and write six below seven. Seven minus six is equal to one. The remainder is one. Now the left out number in the dividend is two. Bring it below next to one. Recite the six tables again. Six into two is equal to twelve. Six goes in twelve two times. So write two above two in the quotient place and write twelve below twelve. Twelve minus twelve is equal to zero. There is no remainder. Here the dividend is seventy two, divisor is six, and the quotient is twelve. Thus, seventy two divided by six is twelve. Word problems. There are totally 90 balls which are equally distributed in 6 boxes. Find out how many balls are there in each box. Solution. Total number of balls is equal to 90. Number of boxes is equal to 6. To find out the number of balls in each box, divide 90 by 6. Arrange the dividend and divisor. 6 goes in 9 one time. So write 6 below 9 and 1 above 9 in the quotient place. Now deduct 6 from 9. 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. Bring 3 below. Does 6 go in 3? No. So bring down the 0 next to 3. Now we have 30. Recite 6 tables. 6 into 5 is equal to 30. So 6 goes in 30 5 times. So write 5 above in the quotient and write 30 below 30. There is no remainder when you deduct 30 from 30. The quotient is 15. Thus 90 divided by 6 is equal to 15. So there are 15 balls in each box. Problem 2. There are totally 48 pencils in 4 boxes filled in equally. Find out how many pencils are there in each box. Total number of pencils are 48. Number of boxes are 4. To find out the number of pencils in each box, divide 48 by 4. Arrange the numbers respectively. 4 goes in 4 one time. That is, 4 into 1 is equal to 4. So write 1 in the quotient and 4 below 4. 4 minus 4 is equal to 0. The number left in the dividend is 8. Bring down 8. Find out the number of times 4 goes in 8. Recite the 4 tables. 4 into 2 is equal to 8. 4 goes in 8 2 times. So write 2 in the quotient to the right of 1 and write 8 below 8 and subtract. 8 minus 8 is equal to 0. The remainder is 0 and the quotient is 12. Thus, 48 divided by 4 is 12. So, there are 12 pencils in each box.